Good morning, I'm on a westbound Metropolitan Line train heading towards Rice Lip Station where I'll be getting off today to tick off something that's been on my list for quite some time now. Let's go and visit the Rice Lip Lido Railway. It's that time of year where we have to put our hats and scarves on because it's not as warm anymore as it was in the summer. Autumn has arrived. Okay, so I'm at the Lido. I've just bought a return ticket uh, and I'm heading over to Willow Lawn Station. Okay, so I'm here at platform one at Willow Lawn Station and there are three platforms here. On the third platform, uh, there's a train just about to depart and there'll be the first train from Woody Bay coming in in just a couple of minutes time and we'll be catching that one. Hi, David. Hi. <laughs> Taking care while crossing the tracks to get to the opposite platform, I got my hands on some delicious treats from the turntable tea room, where you can find many photos and leaflets from the railway. It's map time, so let's see what the layout of the railway looks like. There are three stations, the first being Willow Lawn, the second Haste Hill, which is a request stop, and the third Woody Bay. The railway goes in a semicircle around the Lido, and most of its journey is in the forest. And yes, I still had time to check out the level crossing. Okay, so just behind me here, we've got the only level crossing here on the railway, but I can see that it's not possible to cross because there's a lock here, which means we'll just look at the train as it goes past. Okay. Did you unlock it? Yeah. How? Ah, oh, very clear. My wife got the secret code. I mean, that was just such a revelation moment. Classic revelation moment. I can't believe I did not. You just, you just lift the lock here. Seriously, I'm so dumb. Okay, so I've very kindly been let inside the cab of... This is a diesel locomotive, isn't it? Uh, yes, diesel locomotive. Um... Yeah, we're heading back to uh, Woody Bay, which is on the other end. And I'm going to be inside the cab for the whole journey. Very exciting. So my name's Michael, I've been a volunteer at the railway here since 2019, so kind of up to about four years now, and I shall be the uh, driver for this run to and on today. Uh, currently in the cab of John Rennie, one of our newer diesel locos. Um, pretty simple controls, it runs up to a maximum speed of uh, 8 miles per hour line speed. Mm -hmm. uh, relative standard, you've got your, uh, your reverser, so you've got all your forwards, neutral reverse. Two gears, one and two, generally ride passenger services in two. So the guard. Uh, so right now I'm doing a brake test, I've got the handbrake on, brakes release, checking the air pressure goes through the train. Once that needle goes down and up, sound the whistle confirm to the guard that we are good to go. Uh, Rain the John to Rain the best. we are just about ready to depart from Willowlawn over. So once we couple the train up to the front, we will release the brakes, set the hand, um, handbrake and just check that the air goes through the train system. So that's confirmed so that we are good to depart. Uh, nice and standard, so train goes to the forward, using gear 2 passenger services, uh, brake lever on the right and your throttle on the left. Uh, in terms of gauges, uh, you've got your speedometer on the left, you've got your RPM gauge on the right, you've got air pressure through the train on the right here as well, and then you've also got your uh, fuel lever, uh, your fuel gauge on the um, far right, and then different uh, temperature. 
bushes and the white bushes and the signs. Okay, so uh, how long did it take to train to become uh, a driver here on the railway? I know that uh, you are on the what railway? What uh, part of national rail do you work so on on a I daily work, basis? So as well as this, I work on the um, Southeastern Railway, so I'm stationed off the Southeastern. Um, yes, in terms of training at the railway, you generally do about two days worth of classroom stuff. So you go in to the MS room, uh, you get assigned a train, I think goes through all kind of the test inspector of the train, the technical details, as well as a little bit of um, a run as well to teach you the controls of the train and getting a feel for them. Uh, so once you've done two days of classroom work and the uh, assessor's happy, you then move on to a um, 18 trips. So you do 18 return journeys with, under supervision with someone. And they tend, they essentially assess your driving skills, your route knowledge, that kind of stuff. They're happy to sign you off. Once you've done the 18 trips, you then move on to a written assessment, one more supervised trip, and then it's um, on to the finale. So this is Haste Hill Request Stop? Uh, yes, this is Haste Hill Request Stop. And you're only able to get off here when you're coming from Woody Bay? That's correct. So, and it, so yeah, so you have to tell the guard before you get on? Yes. Because we're on the upline now heading towards yes. uh, Lelon. There's no platform, there's on no that platform side. this side. Yep. Yeah, correct. So it's there. drop off only and you can't collect anyone from there? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so the whistle on this train is from the A stock, uh, which used to be on the district line, yeah? Metropolitan line. Metropolitan line. <laughs> Got my train facts wrong here. So we, we can blow the whistle. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Hello there, Arthur. Hello. Uh, we're walking over to the train shed, yeah? That's correct, yeah. Thank you. Welcome inside the train shed. Yes, this is where we do all of the uh, building pieces and maintaining things and everything else. So we've got some big machine tools down here to, um, well, do various machining on various bits of metal. So we've got the large lathe here to machine the axles. That's half an axle now, having been uh, used for something else. Um, but at mm -hmm. right at the back we have the pillar drills and so on, and then up here towards the front we've got the milling machine for making the flat surfaces and everything else um, and then the, uh, the large press we have here, a 50 tonne press which is uh, currently sitting here with uh, one of the cabbage wheel sets in ready to have the bearings pressed out. So this is Lady of the Lakes so it's just in at the moment to have a regular oil change which they have once every uh, well essentially every 250 hours um, but yes, the big diesels all have a four-cylinder engine in. Uh, this one has a Perkins engine and the newer ones have a Kubota engine. And then hidden away behind here at the moment because it's a, the panel side is on. But there's a transmission there that takes the drive from the engine, puts it through a gearbox and then drops it down to here behind the fuel tanks. And then just behind the fuel tanks there's a carden shaft that goes front and back to the bogies at each end. But yes, and then normally up at the front here, it's mainly storage and where the locos would normally live, but they're out and about at the moment. And then out at the front, it's all the yard stuff. So apron out here, um, carriage shed over there, and then in the middle there, the two tracks, one heading off towards Willow Lawn and one uh, coming back from Willow Lawn. Okay, so Arthur here has just uh, let the driver know uh, that uh, we are going to make a request stop for Hastil, so we'll be getting off there. Uh, so yeah, we're getting on the train. So you're the guard of the train, yes? Yeah, that's correct. So um, we got red and green flag. Um, we got a um, emergency brake here. That's our buzzer to to tell um, our driver 
like one buzzer is to go, stop, two buzzers to go, and three buzzers to reverse. Wonderful, thank you so much You're for showing me around. Okay, so quick carriage interlude. The train is about to depart. We're going to be going around uh, the turn back loop, uh, which will allow us to go onto the return track. Let's go. Woo! This is really fun. at a short standstill here because we're waiting for the diesel train uh, to pass and it's just going past and then we're going to be able to continue on to Haste Hill. Welcome to Haste Hill. And what I didn't know was that you couldn't stay on the platform as there was no staff there. So after saying goodbye to the departing train, I had to leave the station and conclude today's video outside. God, that light is playing around with my autofocus. Anyways, let's pretend that we're still on the platform at Haste Hill looking at all the very curious gnomes. And another fun fact for you today is that it's the least used station on the entire railway. So I hope that you enjoyed watching me exploring this fun, vast and just beautiful railway. I'll leave some links in the description below uh, for websites that I think you should check out for more information. Uh, and I hope that you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Press subscribe and like. Have a good day. Bye bye.